and all hands for one story brick. Trucks are opening up. Searches are underway, heavy fire. 57 Battalion to Brooklyn, okay? Chef said, no, shall I get back? Gonna be using all hands on live, okay? 980, the address 845 Dean Street off of Grand Avenue, one story commercial. All companies operating box 980, the time is 214, dispatch at 367. There's a fire in a commercial garage where combustibles may be stored. The threat of an explosion presents a real and present danger. My father was a fireman uh, in Brooklyn for 20 years, got promoted, a lieutenant, uh, and then he retired. Paul was a happy guy, his friends were happy guys. They always seem to enjoy their job. So here I am. My wife well, comes from a family of uh, civil servants and uh, she understands that uh, there's dangers involved in the job. But uh, she's only known me as a fireman and this is what I am and this is what I'm going to be. And I think uh, she fears for me, and, uh, but she deals with it. Four minutes later, Rescue 2, Brooklyn's bravest, is on the scene. Come on out, Woody. Since there's been no confirmation on whether or not anyone is trapped inside, the company prepares for an interior attack. Firefighters must open the steel door to gain critical access and to start to clear out the smoke. Proper ventilation is often the difference between life and death. On the outside, one team cuts holes in the roof for ventilation. This is crucial and helps protect the firefighters on the inside. A firefighter begins climbing towards the roof, knowing that it's going to be hot, hard to breathe, and blinding. Not to mention that there could be little or no roof left. At 2.17 a.m., seven minutes from being dispatched, a relentless Rescue 2 enters the garage. The firefighter drops his tools to check if the roof is sturdy. Keeping a firm grip on the aerial ladder, he then checks the stability of the roof by jumping. becomes too thick and the aerial ladder has to be relocated. Fourteen minutes after the call, armed with hoses, firefighters work their way towards the blaze.
Every second is crucial as roofmen are able to re-establish their positions and cut desperately needed roof holes. The smoke needs to escape to give the firefighters a fighting chance to battle this blaze. There is no other option. The firefighters now resort to high technology to detect unseen hotspots or hidden fire extensions behind walls. This is a thermal imaging camera. What it does is it picks up heat. Um, any surface area which is hot will show up white in our screen. Anything that is cold will show up black. The whereabouts of the fire was unknown until we took the camera and located it. This was a car body shop and it was divided off, off that looks like the office area over there, isolated to the office area. In addition to that, they had a plywood wall here, which really blocked the fire from the uh, engine to get water on it. After 16 life-threatening minutes, the blaze is out for good. The property may be damaged, but no one is injured. Brother, I, got, I was the one tool man. Did you put it down inside, Jim? No, I gave it to you. No, I never put this down. After packing up their gear, there's a short debriefing and an on-site evaluation of the ordeal.